Wait, are you looking for dates in the office? No, man. I was just trying to look for my pet's picture. Besides, I know for a fact that this rapid swiping is definitely not landing me an ideal date. But if you are wondering how you can untap the true potential of dating apps, you have landed on the right page. Or hey, should I say that this was the right swipe you needed? Welcome to yet another episode of One Bite at a Time, where we decode how dating apps exactly work. For years, people have tried to manipulate dating apps for their own advantage, or wondered why these apps suggest their ideal partners who are so unsuitable for them. Technically speaking, dating apps are nothing but search engines. They leverage their algorithm to suggest you matches based on your data. It includes your personal details, the preferences that you have selected, and your app activities. Since emotional connections are tricky to predict, some people claim that dating apps are terrible search engines. precisely because of their algorithm and how they micromanage dating but it is believed that understanding these algorithms would help you obtain better matches so hey why should data have all the fun we have managed to obtain some of the facts by analyzing these algorithms that determine your matches on these platforms so are you ready to find out how dating apps exactly work there are tons of dating apps today tinder hinge okay cupid and many more but all of them have a common goal to help their users find suitable matches or ideal partners but how is that possible everything is possible with the power of artificial intelligence launched in 2012 tinder is the fastest growing social networking app on a global scale the location based dating app is revolutionizing the dating world with users from 190 countries swiping 1.6 billion photos producing 20 billion matches every single day When it first came out Tinder was a groundbreaking dating app and after its success other applications which are also dating apps like Hinge, Plenty of Fish, OkCupid all owned by the same parent company Match Group started to emerge. The Tinder app works quite simply. You swipe right on a user's profile to show which user you are most interested in. To use Tinder, you must first set up a profile with information about your current location, gender, age, proximity to other users and preferred gender you then start swiping you can swipe left if you don't like someone or right if you do when someone swipes right next to you you are matched and you can start chatting another dating app hinge features neither swiping nor a elo rating system according to logan uri the director of relationship science at hinge the company uses the gale shapley algorithm The Nobel Prize winning algorithm was designed to find the best partners in trades which money can't buy. Still confused? No worries. Let's simplify this even further. Suppose you wanted to sell an old furniture of yours. You post an ad on an online marketplace say OLX. There is another user on this marketplace who comes across your ad. He or she figures out that this ad matches all of his requirement. So they immediately reach out to you. and there the deal is done now imagine this online marketplace as an online dating app you only come across those profiles whose preferences and interests matches yours let's take another example say a person is wanting to donate an organ they will fill up a form either on an online platform or a hospital and once registered they'll receive a donor's card another individual who is looking for a donor applies for their request on the same online platform or hospital for it they will receive the donor's details only when the requirements are matched now replace this online platform or hospital with online dating apps and then you can relate the process much better how do dating apps work so is it that simple you just swipe left or right on a profile and tinder automatically matches you No. Well, it creates a personalized recommendation using Vectech, which is a machine learning algorithm which is also paired with artificial intelligence. Word to Vec is another ML-based technique that aids in successful matches. Consider this algorithm to be Tinder's own linguist. So, this algorithm, that is Word to Vec, focuses on words while Tinvec analyzes the user attributes and also learns from a large number of co-swipes. 
It specifically identifies the user's communication style. Using this data, clusters of similar swipes are formed and the previously mentioned embedded vectors are used to represent the user's preferences. And how does the Gale Shapley algorithm work? Let's say there are 10 single men and 10 single women. How do they end up in pairs? First, take one group and ask them to select their top choice. Once it's selected, if they're rejected by their top choice and they move on to their second, continue until no one else is interested in being matched. So this is what goes behind dating apps. You let us know if this video helps make your online dating experience better in the comment section below. And if you want to keep receiving the workings of your day-to-day -day tech interaction, do make sure you follow Scalar.